Love to see you, mate. It helps introduce you. Uh, who are you? My name is Ed Laverack. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Flatley in South Wales. I make YouTube videos. I ride my bike lots every day. And I'm also a Zwift racer. How did your YouTube channel come about, Ed? When I was riding for, for professional teams, uh, I would often be traveling. I'd often be away from home for a, a lot of the year. A lot of the times I was getting asked, what's your next race? Or where are you going next? Or, you know, what are you doing now? It's a way of getting things out there. I'm just, just trying to go from day to day and show what I'm doing day to day. When did you first decide to dip your toe into the, uh, into the Zwift racing scene? The racing side of things, I'm sure my first live stream race is up on my YouTube channel. But so we can watch that for ourselves? If probably, really yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in my parents' conservatory. Um, it's freezing cold, as it is with most people in the, in the Zwift caves. Yeah, I can't even remember what the race was, but I must have picked a hilly race. So was your first experience a bit of a baptism? So I knew what to expect, right. but I think as most people would say, I think you don't quite fully appreciate it until you're actually in it. Yeah, they're always hard starts, and they? they're always you know, that first sort of, you know, minute, two minutes, even even five minutes maybe. Yeah. Um, you're, in, uh, you're in a lot of red. So what do you enjoy most about Zwift Race? I really enjoy the crossover actually between Zwift Racing and real life racing. A really stacked Zwift Race, for example, can bring about like a lot of tactics. And, and what about looking ahead um, to the World Championship? How did it come about that you ended up being selected for GB to ride? You know, you, you have to be keen. I put in an expression of interest. Uh, I, you know, showed my results and my, my ability. There was an event on that, that was part of the qualifiers. I was one of the, I think I was the second highest placed uh, finisher for GB. Yeah, they got in touch with me and yeah, here I am. What's it going to mean then to pull on um, the virtual avatar, the virtual GB kit in game? There must, must, must be a lot to be riding for, for British cycling in, in the world. You know, representing the country, doesn't matter what sport it is, what discipline in that sport, uh, you know, it's, it's a very, very proud moment and I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity. It's bonkers really, isn't it? Um, I couldn't think of a better term really, that you're going to be riding a UCI World Championships in your house. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just goes to show what you can do now uh, in this day and age. And um, I think we've just got to embrace it, enjoy it and get the most out of it. And what are your specific ambitions? Obviously, clearly you want to do as best you can, but realistically, what, what are you looking at? What would be a good ride for you? I'll only know probably a couple of weeks beforehand if I'm in good enough shape to win it. And I wouldn't just be saying that. Um, people know my ability. And, you know, I think if I'm given the opportunity and I'm in the right place at the right time, you know, the finish could be hard enough if the racing's been hard enough, you know, to suit me. To win the rainbow bands would be astonishing, wouldn't it? I mean, that would be some achievement. But the fact that you're confident enough to say, if all, all the stars align, you've got good form, you'll be in with a shout is, is, is good stuff. Yeah, but I think you've always got to believe in yourself. So Ed, away from cycling, what else are you into? What don't we know about you? I wasn't before, but again, more recently, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan now. Have you got any Star Wars Lego? I don't. I've got quite a lot, actually. I thought that you'd, we could talk about Lego for a bit, but that's it, sad. You're a big Lego fan? Big Lego fan and a big Star Wars fan. And when those worlds collide, I tell you what, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>